Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and today we're going to take a look at this USB charging device here. As you can see, this is the Orico 4-port USB charging station. Let's take a little look here. We've got 31 watts of premium power enabled, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But here is a look around the unit itself. As you can see, it's clear plastic, so it's easy to tell what's in there. So anyway, I'm going to open it up and we'll take a look at the uh, the unit itself. And then after removing everything from packaging, we have the unit, the power cord, so you can see here, it's just a standard AC power cord, and this would actually be what would be the wall wart portion of it, so there's uh, nothing hanging off the uh, outlet, so that's kind of nice. And then we also have a warranty card and some, I mean, really, not in English whatsoever, but, uh, I mean, no big deal. I doubt there's much to fail here, although I guess we do have a website to go to there. But anyway, uh, not much exciting there. So we'll talk about the charging ports down here, and this is obviously the most important part. Uh, for doing any kind of charging is the amperage at 5 volts. So what we have is we have 5 volts at 2 amps here, we have 5 volts at 2 amps there, and then 1 amp and 1 amp down here. So that is very important uh, to note when you're charging your USB devices, uh, especially when there's more than one, uh, not all adapters are created equal. So I'll show a couple other examples here. And, and we can compare to this unit itself. So I've gone around my home and I've picked up some varying USB charging devices that I had uh, for different things like cell phones and whatnot. And what I've come up with, I'll just show you here, is like for example, this one is one of those external battery packs uh, that you charge in there and then you get an output of 2 amps and 1 amp there. So this is a uh, 3 amp device. Oh, as you can see, we've got output of 1 amp and 2 amp, so that's pretty cool there. That's great because you can actually charge a tablet and a cell phone at the same time with this particular one. And then we have here, this is a single, this is a Motorola, so this is from one of my uh, one of my cell phones. And here we are, so you get, oh, focus, Perfect. We get 5.1 volts at 850 milliamps for charging. And same with this one here. This guy is a 1 amp 5 volt there, single out. But where you change, and then this is the same, but where you start to really have problems, as I would say, uh, is like with this one. So this is 2, so you would think, awesome, I can charge two things at one time. Well, if you go back to the specifications, we have 1000 milliamps or 1 amp at 5 volts is the maximum output. So here you are, you're splitting 1 amp. So you're getting a half amp each one. And that would be an extremely, that's a slow charge on for like a cell phone. And it probably wouldn't even charge a tablet at all. I don't think a half an amp. Well, it might, but uh, at least my tablets that I've used, uh, Kindle Fire, it doesn't do a very good job of charging that at all. So that's one thing to think about. And so if you see these devices with more than one USB port, you always need to double check and make sure that, hey, oh, nope, that's not great. You need more amperage if you're going to use more than one slot. This would work great if you only had, if you only used the top one or the bottom one. But yeah, du doubling it up, no way. So, brings us back to the important thing about this is the fact that we have two, four, you have basically six amps at five volts, which is where we get our 31 watts of power. And this is kind of what you need if you want to do more than one device out of one outlet. You need to have something that really pushes some power and as you can tell they do get a lot bigger in size when you start needing that much more uh, output. And I've seen some that have like 10 and you know they get to be you know I've seen them a couple hundred dollars to get 10 5 volt 2 amp outs and then it's almost like a it's almost like a a, a big power brick almost like a 
uh, you would see on a surge protector or something. It starts to get that big. But for my purposes, when I travel uh, and I have two cell phones and a tablet or two, boom, there we go. I can charge all of my devices off of one AC out in input. Excuse me. And then instead of having, I used to have a power strip, and then I would use this, that one, and that one, and then one of these ports, and I would be able to sort of charge a tablet. But it better was it was better for cell phones. Where this one now, I can power and charge a tablet or two at the same time as two cell phones. So that is where the value is in this uh, Orico uh, charging station. So anyway, that wraps up my unboxing and review of the Orico 4 port USB wall charger. If you like the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me the thumbs down. And in the comments section below, let me know what you think about this. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and post that as well. And as always, thank you for watching.